And now he wants to see a movie in Houston with them. Why Houston? I don't know. It's in Mix Max or something. So you're saying I got to drive to Houston? No, this girl Libby's going to drive. Great. It's not great, George. I don't want my little boy in some car with a teenager behind the wheel. All high school kids drive. Yeah, well, I don't like it. Would you let me get in a car with a stranger when I was young? Well, nobody ever asked you out, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Hold on. Let me bring this into the station so as not to disappoint my commuters. They'd like to get home to their families. I gave it a lot of thought, and I'm afraid I can't allow you to drive to Houston with your friends. Why? Well, honey, you're still a little boy. I don't think it's right. I'm not a little boy. I'm a high school student. I'm sorry. I made up my mind. If you'd really like to see this movie, I'm willing to drive you. Maybe we can meet your friends there. I don't want my mommy to take me. Well, then you're not going. Anger is an ugly emotion, unbridled rage even more so. And when it bubbled up inside me, I channeled it the only way I knew how. We're not gonna take it. I cleaned the house like a man possessed. Runs out of gas. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'll make a deal with you. I'm listening. You can go to Houston with your friends, but I want to meet this girl first. That's very reasonable. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, can you please reach the dryer sheets? I get vertigo on the step stool. I've often been accused of being stubborn and willful, but sometimes it works like gangbusters. 